Alright, we're up. It's like 1.30 in the morning now. We're gonna start making our way up to the summit. Um, the only thing that's problematic is like all the like groups are leaving around now. So. How's the mountain hut done? Uh, the mountain hut sucked, dude. Like, I didn't sleep one second. But you know what? It's uh, I'm I'm convinced. Like if you're gonna see the sunrise, you're, you're not gonna sleep anyway. You know what I mean? This is more of a place to like lie down and like mm, keep your legs fresh, I suppose. Right, so we're in the middle of our night climb now. The headlamp is very essential. Thank God Kyle brought one in. And uh, don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's just a long lot of people with headlamps. How to talk? You get. You can see it a little better if I point it back, like that. Everyone's gunning for the same thing, just to see who gets there first. Just giving you a better idea of how many people are up here. Uh, night scene's on, I don't know if it's picking it up, but every light you see is a person. And if you go back going this way, it continues all the way down. So, it's really, really crowded because it's a three-day weekend here in Japan. Uh, we didn't uh, prepare for that. So, a lot of people. Just to give you some idea, every light you see is one person. And uh, the sunrise has already kind of started. Um, we don't think we can make it to the summit in time for um, to see it come out. But, you know, we'll get up there eventually. <laughs> I feel about that, Raiden. <laughs> These are all the people who started even after we did. Still quite a bit coming up. And we still got ways to go to the top. So this was the ninth station, so I guess we're not gonna get the brand from the ninth station on this Ooh, thing. Yeah, and this is the long line of people to the top. But the sun's coming out really soon, so a lot of people are just kind of uh, cutting the losses, deciding to watch it from here. Yeah, but we're, even if we're going to miss the sun coming out, we want to see it from the top, so we're going to keep going. Let's go. Yeah, we're, we're almost there. Maybe another 30 minutes, but traffic's getting congested again. So, it's pretty much out now. Uh, yeah, so I mean, here's the shot of a uh, sunrise from almost the top of Mount Fuji, but uh, top is over there. Uh, I'm gonna try to go a little bit more, see what it looks like. Almost at the top now, maybe another 10 minutes or so. We still got some time. It's a race against the sun. I'm not willing to lose. Let's go. So the sun's officially out. It's the sunrise from the the very, very, very near top of Mount Fuji, but we're gonna keep going up so you can get uh, the real, the real shot. So uh, we made it to the summit. They just hoisted the Japanese flag. That's the pole indicating the summit down there. I was trying to find a good place to watch the full sunrise from here on out. Um, as you can see, super, super, super crowded. Um, we didn't plan for this. We plan to be here a lot of, uh, up here a lot earlier. Should have only taken two hours. It's too close to the floor. Um, but you know, we made it. Here we are. And, uh, just trying to find a good place to settle now. Oh, I just drive. So I just drive. Little 360 view here. The sun's drone? still out. Yeah, the drone's out. There's Dario here with his Cyclops glasses. Someone mistaken him for a Japanese man earlier. Yeah. That's how well his face is hidden. Started speaking Japanese to me, then he saw me. He was pretty shocked. Yeah, and this is the creator. 
Mount Fuji's crater. It goes, I don't know if the camera picks that up, but it goes down really deep. And uh, there's actually some snow or like ice down there. <laughs> there's the crater. <laughs> it's freaking massive. Don't want to fall down there. So uh, we want to get down Mount Fuji, but we got to make it through this sea of people. But you know, we... Oh, is there? It took eight hours to get up. Might as well spend a little bit of time. Enjoy it a little bit more. So the people traffic or crowd is really bad. And then uh, we cut through the wrong way. <laughs> and then we got to go back all the way through the crowd that we fought through um, to get to the down trail. But, you know, it's still really nice. Uh, the sun's out in like full form now. You can see its reflection on the lake. And, uh, yeah, you can see everything really, really clearly. So we're just on our descent now. We finally fought our way through a huge crowd of people. And now we're looking forward to getting down to the bottom. <laughs> but uh, it's still a marvelous sight to experience and we get to see it the whole way down. <laughs> and uh, it's probably gonna get like pretty hot as we get past the halfway point probably need to shed off a couple of layers but um, yeah it's all gonna be pretty much boring from here just the scent so I don't think I'll film anything else unless something of interest comes up how was your Mount Fuji experience Kyle? Pretty good. Yeah. yeah but uh, yeah it was a race against time but we made it in the end I would say yeah, yeah. how's your Mount Fuji experience Dario or oh, sorry Thunder Lord Raiden this sucks <laughs> You, you hate you hate slopes. yeah you hate being amongst mortals yeah yeah I, yeah that's mine I thought I thought it was awesome uh, it wasn't as hard as everyone made it out to be I found but like some of those parts are definitely pretty difficult uh, me I think the worst part about Mount Fuji is the fucking bus to get there that was fucking terrible <laughs> it was so much like. That was no awful. Way. That is lying. It's pretty hard. No, it's not. It's not. And then, like, maybe the worst part is, like, the night climb. Like, after, when you're trying to get up, when everyone's trying to race up for, like, the sun. That sucks. Like, it's just this, it's just, like, non it's stop and go traffic with, like, human form. But not human traffic. Not, that's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I might have to edit that out. <laughs> but, anyway. Uh, yeah, that's it from us. It was a phenomenal experience. Would I do it again? Probably not. So, you know, I got my stick, got all my brand iron stamps on there, whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah, <laughs> I got no excuse to come back. Peace. We're on our last descent down now. And it's this really like loosely placed like stones. Yeah, it's just logging. And like this freaking feet like sink straight in and it's so freaking steep it's like a slide and it was literally I don't know if you can see how steep that is but it's insane and it just goes on forever and ever and ever I want to go home I want to go home the fog or well the fog came to us and it's kind of refreshing it feels a little bit cold nice and, uh, hopefully we get here seeing getting pretty fucking tired of this mountain 
And just when you think it's over, what? you turn the curb and there's fucking more. <laughs> Everyone decided to take a break here. And the thing about this area, every time you sit down, these fucking flies keep buzzing in your ear, so you don't really get much of a break, really. I know. They don't even know what, this, what they're about to witness. So we finally made it down the freaking devil's hill and all to find out that we still have 40 minutes to get to where we need to go. We're demoralized, we're hungry, we're thirsty. We're never climbing Mount Fuji ever again. Never again, never, never. never. Uh, yep. We'll be home eventually. And we finally made it. It took forever, but we finally made it. We're back down to the fifth station. The first fifth station we went to was not the real one. It was a fake one. It was a phony. It was a liar. It was a cheat. But we finally made it. We're on flat, solid ground. Hello. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> and I could not be happier to be off that dreadful mountain. It was. Awesome to climb it, but uh, coming down is the worst thing ever. <laughs> I got Thank you. Yeah, like honestly, to sum up Fuji Mountain for you guys, um, pretty cool hike until you sleep and spend the night. The hike after that sucks. The one in the morning. Yeah, and then on and and then the hike back. Like honestly, after you see the crater and the cool sunrise, uh, it's like literally downhill from there in like both meanings. It's, like literally downhill and just everything about it just sucks and uh, but you know what what goes up must come down and uh we came down but we made it we're exhausted we want to get out of here we want some food uh, goodbye <laughs>